National Park and we're heading for uh, Israelite Bay and this is the road. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what it's like. It's four-wheel drive all the way and uh, it's already had some soft sand so uh, we'll just see what happens. We've got some young guys in the four-wheel drive behind us and they're not in sight so hopefully they haven't buried it already. We've just travelled for two and a half hours and uh, you get to Israelite Bay. <laughs> this is what we come up with. Actual fact, the bay's on the other side of that water over there. It's an inlet. No signs, nothing. Once you break out onto the, uh, onto the, I suppose it's an inlet or something, and it's uh, a lake or, or whatever. Um, but you're, you're breaking off the uh, four-wheel drive track. We've got a fairly smoothish drive at the moment at least. We've got another eight kilometres. We thought we were there, but we've still got a little way to go. We are at Israelite Bay. And there is life here. This is the original farming cottage out here at Israelite Bay. This is one of the focal points of our weather. This is Israelite Bay. We got out here late in the afternoon and we got to drive into the sun to get home. Israelite Bay hosts one of the now defunct telegraph stations. And this is the ruins of the telegraph station. The Israelite Bay Telegraph Station operated from 1876 until 1927 and is being conserved by the National Trust of Australia. to actually go out to Israelite Bay and uh, as a result it's a bit late coming back. This is the track, it's sand, it's white sand for a change. But it is uh, 64, 65 kilometres, it's going to take us around about two and a half hours probably to get back to uh, where onto a, a normal bit, uh, a normal gravel road. And here's a bloke coming towards us as well. So even at this time of night they're coming out on these roads. 